Hi, my name is Danny Jacques, and I want to welcome you to my studio. I call it Living Wood Studio. Today I'm going to show you a couple good tricks on uh, building gears, cutting gears out for clocks and other projects that you might have. Um, I found that after drawing this gear and printing it, that uh, my drawing on the printer was at a round. So, you know, the, the printer prints kind of not perfect. So here's a trick. What you want to do is first, after bandsawing around it, getting it close, and you drill your hole first, and then you put your pen in um, a sander, like and then what you do is you just turn around and sand that all the way around to where it's perfectly round with the hole. Then you're going to see if it's not perfect that you're going to have a little bit of a little bit of white paper pass where at other places you went all the way to the to the black line maybe and taking it off. What you need to do in a case like that, this is a real simple trick. You just take a thin piece of wood like this, cut it to the correct length, take a colored pen that is a different color from your printing, which is probably going to be black. So you probably want like a blue pen or, or maybe a pencil. Then you use this to draw your line around there, and that will give you a perfect, perfect circle for sawing your teeth out to. And if you can see, you may not be able to see, but see right here, I'm about a good sixteenth of an inch past the bottom of the tooth, where over here, I'm right at it. My new line is right over top of the old one. And it's the same thing on both sides. I've got a sixteenth here, sixteenth here, where it's perfect here and here. So now what I do is I follow my blue line to to cut to and to sand the teeth to. Okay, now the next trick I'm going to show you is the sander. If you want the best sander that there is for sanding gear teeth, you'll have to make it. Hopefully you have a wood lathe, but you could do this, you know, using another tool like maybe a grinder or something. Something that would hold a, an arbor that you can make. Now this this is an arbor that I made. This is a faceplate, 4 inch faceplate. And then I took an old saw blade. This saw blade is a 6.5 inch thin curve uh, battery. It's a saw blade out of a battery saw, so it's real thin. And what I did is I first took the grinder and I ground behind the tooth all the way until I get all the way to the bottom of the carbide tooth and then I took a little wrench and then I just broke those off. Once I got all that done then I made this arbor and if you can see I made a, a little shoulder here for five, five eight, so it holds, the, it holds the center of the blade just right at the right place. And you can push the, the blade on like that. Well, then I took a grinder, an electric grinder, this one here, because the, the, this is a six and a half inch blade. You need it to be six inches, maybe a hair bigger than six inches. So I took the grinder and I ground it, just took my time, and I ground it until I got a perfect six inch circle. And then what I did is I stuck on there a six inch sticky sandpaper, uh, 120 grit on both sides. And you have to cut the hole out using a razor knife, a sharp razor knife. Because after you stick the first side of the paper on, you take a knife and cut that hole out. Then you stick the second side and then you cut that hole out.
So then I put this on there, push it on, it's kind of a, you want that to be a nice tight fit. And then all I used was a, a washer, a, a washer and a screw. I pre-drilled this in the drill, in the uh, drill press, so that it'd be very centered. And then just tighten that up. Then you'll have to build a rest. Now this is, this is a rest that, uh, this is just a heavy piece of steel that I got from a machine shop. This is a one inch post. And then I welded this on it. Be very careful to get it very square so that this will stay level because that's important when you're sanding the teeth on a, on a gear. So then you adjust it up. You can bring this corner right up real close to it. And what might even make this better be to cut a slot in here, which I'll probably do in the future, so I can bring this in past it. For sanding gears, unless they're really small gears, it really wouldn't matter. But on a gear like this, then you just turn the, turn the lathe up to the speed that you like. Uh, you can go, actually you could probably go full speed. I'm not going to go full speed because it's a little bit loud and you may not hear me. But then, you, uh, you just very carefully sand each tooth. This is better than a belt sander because you can do both sides of the tooth. So I have a one inch belt sander in it. That's what I used the last time. But this here is even better because the belt sander, it's got too thick of a little blade behind it. It's too wide. Actually, I took the, the blade behind it off so that uh, I could get in all the way to the bottom of the teeth. And with this, 